This film is about an idea. An idea we call the polymorphic concept of data processing system design, which is a complicated name for an idea, we admit. But the idea itself isn't so complicated when you think of it in terms of how people get machines to help solve their problems. Now, if you have a problem to be computed, you take it to a computer. And as your problems get bigger, you need a bigger computer. As more and more guys like you have problems to solve, they take turns on the computer, which isn't so bad if the computer is fast enough, which it can be if it is big enough and expensive enough. But as the number of guys and the number of problems increase, the machine gets huge. Isn't that a waste? Because while one guy is using the computer to solve an easy problem, which may only be taking one thousandth of the computer, everyone else has to wait. Unless you spend still more money and buy a still bigger computer. But worse, if one piece fails, the whole computer will probably quit. Even though most of it is perfectly good, ready and willing to work. What's wrong here? To start with, if you look inside, you see that it isn't just one solid hunk of computer, but a lot of individual parts and circuits which each have specialized functions. Now it would be nice if someone would divide the huge computer into little parts, unsolder the connections, so that everybody could get a chance to use the parts he needs for his particular problem. Next, you will want to organize things a little. Not in the usual way, where the brainy computer part not only supervises everything, but also insists on doing a large share of the detailed work. What you want is more delegation, a more easygoing, cooperative relationship between all the parts so that they can associate freely and directly with one another and in various ways. Isn't this a lot of fun? Actually, of course, the electronic boxes don't move. You just make a nice, flexible, automatic switchboard connection, like the telephone company does. That way, the computer boxes, the real brains of the system, don't have to waste their time and talents, acting like telephone operators, trying to handle every single message personally. They can stick to computing and let the other boxes do the detail work such as remembering large number of facts or sending messages from one box to another or carrying out simple logical routines. And so each computer box doesn't have to be so big now. This is distributed control, distributed memory, distributed arithmetics, distributed everything. And it makes sense because now more than one guy can be using the system at the same time to solve a number of easy problems. And when those occasional crash problems come along, your system can reconnect itself in a matter of microseconds to get the big urgent jobs done, as well as an ordinary giant computer could do them. And if one box quits, it's no great catastrophe. The system just automatically switches the job to another box. If you find yourself getting the busy signal too often, you buy more of exactly the kind of boxes you need. That's like adding on new subscribers as they move in. Or you can add more displays so that more people can see what goes on. Suppose your problem calls for a lot of detailed work to do most of the time. Then you buy boxes to give you all the memory or messenger service or whatever else you need. On the other hand, if your problems are mostly heavy-duty brain work, you can load your system up with computer boxes. When you really need it, and can prove you need it, you can put together a big system, or even a really, really big one, without over-investing early, or throwing anything away, or starting from scratch again. So you save money. And all the while, you have better reliability, and multiple use, 
and better access. You can even switch together two complexes, or three, or four, like a nationwide telephone system. Or you can connect in one of those ordinary giant computers as a subscriber if you go for super systems. And this doesn't mean that you end up with one big party line. You can keep some of the lines private by opening a few switches permanently so that certain information won't be available to nosy subscribers. And so now you see that it wasn't just exactly a computer you wanted, but a group of guys with brains and a group of boxes with electronic brains and consoles and displays all connected together in varying ways and growing together so that the partnership can solve more problems per dollar than each group could solve by itself. And this is all there is to the data processing concept known as polymorphic, many-shaped, or multiple mode, or the matrix concept, or maybe just the common sense switchboard idea in data processing systems. Now it just so happens that Thompson Raymond Wildridge has been working on the polymorphic idea for several years. And in case you hadn't already guessed, we have built the first actual polymorphic system. If you're interested, let us know.